Hey everyone, it is time for my week two NFL picks. Now before I get into this week and even last week, I didn't get a chance to do this uh, in my week one video because I'd run out of time. But I wanted to tell you how I did last season. Now last season was a very interesting year. I ended up overall from week one all the way to the Super Bowl. I went 171, 112, and one tie. My worst week of the year was week 10, where I went 3, 9, and 1. My best week of the year was week 16, where I went 13 and 3. That was my best week of the season. Hopefully I could get a 13 and 3 week again this year. Now, as far as last week goes, I had a decent week. I went 8-7-1 on my picks, but I did hit my upset pick of the Chicago Bears beating the San Francisco 49ers. Will I be able to hit my upset again this week? Well, let's find out. Let's get into the Week 2 games of the NFL. And, of course, all of these games are straight-up picks. Going to start with the Thursday night game and a very intriguing Thursday night game as the Los Angeles Chargers travel to Kansas City to play the Chiefs. Both teams are 1-0. and The Chiefs are a four-point favorite for this game. This is going to be a very interesting game. And this is a game to me that is going to show if the Chargers can really hang with the Chiefs. This time around, I don't see it happening. I like the Chiefs to win at home. Now to the games on Sunday. The Washington Commanders travel to Detroit to play the Lions. The Commanders are 1-0. The Lions are 0-1. The Lions, for the first time in almost two years, are favored. They are a 1.5 point favored to win this game. I'll tell you, this is actually going to be an interesting game. Detroit looked very good against Philadelphia last week, but Washington showed me that in situations where they are behind, they can come back. And the offensive weapons, if they stay the way they are, this is a dangerous team. So I'm going with the Commanders to win and go 2-0. The New York Jets travel to Cleveland to play the Browns. The Jets are 0-1. The Browns are 1-0. Cleveland is favored by six points. Um, <laughs> this is kind of interesting how this is going to go, but I think the Cleveland Browns, with their elf on the field, yes, uh, their, their elf's got to be on the 50-yard line. That's their uh, logo, I guess, for the year on the field. They're going to stay undefeated. The Browns will go 2-0. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers travel to New Orleans to play the Saints. Both teams are 1-0. and Tampa is a 2.5-point favorite. And um, this, this is a hard game to pick because Tampa, while they did beat Dallas 19-3, offensively did not look very good. They did not seem in rhythm. The Saints had to make this huge comeback against a Falcons team, which they should have blown away, came back to win. However, since Tom Brady has come to Tampa, New Orleans has had his number in the regular season. The Saints are 4-0 and in the regular season against the Buccaneers. And this is going to be my upset pick of the week. I'm taking the Saints to beat the Buccaneers in New Orleans. The Carolina Panthers go to the Meadowlands to face the New York Giants. The Panthers are 0-1. The Giants are 1-0. The Giants are favored by two points. Hey, credit where credit's due. The Giants came back. They rebounded. It looked like there was a new life on the Giants with their win last week. I think that's going to continue. I like the Giants to beat Carolina. The New England Patriots travel to Pittsburgh to play the Steelers. The Patriots are 0-1, Pittsburgh 1-0. The Patriots are favored by two points. Um, Pittsburgh just slid by with a win against Cincinnati last week. And New England, 
I guess going to Miami on a Tuesday did not work for Bill Belichick. Um, hopefully they'll get their stuff together. I'm going with the Patriots to win this game, but I wouldn't really be surprised if Pittsburgh does win, although T.J. Watt is going to be out of action for some time. But I'm sticking with the Patriots to win. The Indianapolis Colts travel to Jacksonville to play the Jaguars. The Colts are 0-0-1. The Jaguars are 0-1. The Colts are favored to win by four points. This game was almost my upset pick. This, this was very close. After the way Jacksonville played last week, they look like they had new life. It's just they're a young team. But Doug Peterson, I think, has already got them in the right direction. But I'm going with the Colts to win. I, I think Matt Ryan does not want to have another situation like he did last week. I'm going with the Colts to win. The Miami Dolphins travel to Baltimore to play the Ravens. Both teams are 1-0. The Ravens are favored by 3.5. This is another tough game to pick. We're going to find out if what we saw in Week 1 from Miami is the real deal or not. I think it's going to be very hard for Miami to play the way they did against this Baltimore defense. I'm going with the Ravens to win at home. The Atlanta Falcons travel to Los Angeles to play the Rams. The Falcons and the Rams are both 0-1. The Rams are favored by 10.5 points. This has got to be a rebound game for the Rams. They have got to win this game, absolutely. And I think they will win. The Rams are going to rebound this week. They will beat the Falcons. The Seattle Seahawks travel to San Francisco to play the 49ers. The Seahawks are 1-0. The 49ers are 0-1. Uh, I'm pretty sure not a lot of people had that sentence coming. Uh, San Francisco's favored by nine and a half. I, I think San Francisco's going to win this game this week. They, they're going to have to rebound. Trey Lance is going to have to do a better job. They were up 10-0 at one point against the Bears, but they just somehow managed to lose it at the end. I think San Francisco's going to rebound this week. 49ers will win. Cincinnati Bengals travel to Dallas to play the Cowboys. Both teams are 0-1, and, and it is the Bengals favored by 7.5 points. Joe Burrow, I think, is going to just have a better week this week. Plus, with whoever the quarterback is for Dallas, I don't even know who it is. I think it's Cooper Rush is the quarterback, or the backup quarterback right now for Dallas. I can't trust the Cowboys. I'm going with the Bengals to win on the road. The Houston Texans travel to Denver to play the Broncos. The Texans 0-0-1. The Broncos are 0-1. Denver is favored by 10 points. Uh, hopefully they will not have to make a 65-yard field goal to win the game this week. I am going with the Broncos to win at home. Arizona Cardinals travel to Las Vegas to play the Raiders. Both teams are 0-1. The Raiders are favored by 5.5 points. This was another tough game to pick. I'm not going to lie. This was another tough game to pick. I'm going to go with the Raiders to win this one. I think Derek Carr is just a little bit more of a better quarterback than Kyler Murray right now. So I'm going to go with the Raiders to win. The Sunday night game, the Chicago Bears travel to Green Bay to play the Be uh, the Packers. The Bears are 1-0. The Packers are 0-1. The, uh, the Packers are favored to win by 10 points. Uh, I, I think they're going to rebound. I really think the, the Packers are going to rebound this week from that embarrassment of week one. I'm going with the Packers to win to even up at 1-1. One one. Then we go to Monday, where we got not one, but two Monday night football games. And at one point, they will be going at the same time. The Tennessee Titans travel to Buffalo to play the Bills. The Titans are 0-1, Buffalo 1-0. The Bills are favored by 10 points. Did you see that Bills team last week? I'm not going against them. I'm going with the Bills to win. And the other Monday night game, the Minnesota Vikings travel to Philadelphia to play the Eagles. Both teams are 1-0. Um, Philadelphia is favored by 2.5 points. Minnesota just looked so good in that game against Green Bay. And now they're going to be playing against... Philadelphia, who looked good as well. Don't let that final score fool you. They looked good as well. But I think now that they have an offense that they're comfortable with, I'm going with the Vikings to win and go 2-0. 
So, do you agree or disagree with my picks? Leave a comment in the comment section below. If you like this video and you want to watch more, hit the subscribe button. You can click on the bell when a new video pops up. Thank you all for tuning in, and enjoy your week two of the NFL.